ups and downs, highs and lows. We're still in a pandemic, but God has been good. In spite of it, man. And if you don't have a reason to have joy, I'll give you three. He was born, he died, and he rose again. Check that when you get home, I said. to have joy, amen? Come on, we just want to pray to him this morning. I just want to praise you.
praise this holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father God in heaven, we thank you right now thank for you. Lord, bringing us together just over one more week, Father God. Yes, thank you for yes. the Christmas that just passed. Father God, celebrating your son's birth. Father God, we thank you for the new year thank that has come for us this week, Father God. We thank you for this whole year that you brought us to safe mm. and through yes. all tours and trials and danger, Father God. You yes, brought us yes, yes. again, and we are just so happy to be here to praise your name once again. Father God, we thank you for and bless you to bless the ones that are watching us right yes, now. Yes, yes. Their phones, right their, now, their TVs, yes. their computers, yes. Father God. We ask you to yes. bless them and touch them in a mighty special way and carry us through another week, Father God. Yes. Bless yes. our pastor to come and get our gets the word and the message ready to, to come out here and bring forth mm. Father God. We yes. ask you to bless him right now. Mm. Father God, we ask you just to use him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Yes. This is what we ask yes. in the mighty Lord, Son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. First, give an honor to God, Pastor Burgess, ministers on the rostrum, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It is indeed a good day to be in the house of the Lord Amen. one more time. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm excited. Amen. God has led us to see another Christmas on Friday Amen. to celebrate his birthday. Through all these things that happened in 2020. You know, church, we need to continue to pray for one another. Because prayer changes things. They make yes, it. Yes. But you know, one of the kings of the church. That's right. One of the heroes of the church. That's right. One of the prayers of the church. Yes. Of the church yes. Our very own Deacon Scott. Yes. You know, I pray that my grandson is going to be born on that same day. Oh, right. Have the spirit of a Deacon Scott. Amen. 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 So everybody in December, enjoy your birthdays. And just to let you know, I might be trying to get a picture of you for the coming year in 2021. Amen. So just be happy because we're celebrating. Amen. Amen. All right. Thought for the week. Have the faith of Abraham. When all else fails, believe a promise of God. Yeah, yeah. Have the faith of Abraham. <laughs> Against all hope, Abraham and hope believed. He was fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he had promised. Believe for yourselves the promise of God given to you in Christ Jesus. When all else fails, faith in the promise of God will sustain you, will uphold you, and will yeah, not let yeah. you down. Hold tight to this faith, for Abraham believed the promise of God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now what about you? Are you believing the promise of God? Well, all further announcements be coming from the pulpit. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. 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 Let the church say amen. Amen. God is truly good. Yes, he is. allowed us to make me see another year. Aren't we excited about that? Amen. Give God a round of applause. Amen. So this time right now, we're going to go ahead and go into our um, offering now because it's the time right now we can give. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen.
thank you right now for the offering that we have received. That yeah. yeah. goes for all the intent and purpose. But I God, be lifting your, your name, your church, and your praise. Oh God, this we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This part of service right here is prayer time. God has brought us for a whole year. Yes. We have a lot. Some folks are still going through. So we ask right now, let's pray for a friend, a family member, someone who we know that has a difficult time in the last year. And trust God. Stand in the gap for a family member. Every 
to her here, Heavenly Father. We ask that you bless them in a mighty, mighty way, Heavenly Father. We love you, Heavenly Father. We say thank you for everything you've done, doing, and will do in our lives. You are a good God, and you God all alone, Heavenly Father. And we know who you are, Heavenly Father. So if you allow us to make it to 2021, we will pray more. We will lift you up more. We will tell this world more about you, Heavenly Father. Because it wasn't nobody but you that brought us through, Heavenly Father.
Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? That's right. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fed. Yes, sir. I am grateful. Grateful. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. We have been blessed with 52 Sundays in 2020. Wow. And somebody ought to be grateful that we're still here. Somebody ought to be grateful we are still in the land of the living. Yes, maybe, maybe you don't have the same praise I have, but I thank God that, that um, Mother May is with us. Mm -hmm. Mother Madison is with us. Yes. Mother Davis is with us. Yes. Mother uh, Pentaurus is with us. Yes. Not only that, but Mother Burgess is with us. Yes. Mother Brenda is with us. Yes. Mother Moore is Amen. with us. Mother Taylor is with us. Amen. Somebody ought to give the Lord praise Amen. that he deserves. He deserves our mother's board to let us know that all is well Amen. with the Lord. Amen. He's kept Amen. us in the palms of his hands. Amen. All the turbulence of 2020 Amen. get to serve God with hey, He sits high but he looks. Thank God for his mercy. If you will, with me on this last Sunday of 2020, turn to 1 Kings chapter 18. 1 Kings. 1 Kings. 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter number 18. Bless the Lord with me, somebody. He is worthy of all praise. For those who are at home, I know you have the advantage of uh, electronics, but it's right after 2 Samuel, sandwiched between 2 Kings. Good to see Brother Sherman. Amen. Amen. Yes, I see you. I see you. I see you. God bless you. And all the families that are in mourning. I just found out a couple of the guys younger than me in my neighborhood died this week of heart attacks. Mm -hmm. They didn't get to see Christmas, nor did they get to see a new year. Bless them. There's some of our midst who have lost loved ones this month. Yet they're still standing serving the Lord because they know that only God can heal that pain or feel that emptiness that's in your heart when you lose a loved one. The other day, as tired as I was, Brother Madison, when I got off work on Christmas, my only prayer to God was, I want to see my mama's face. Mm -hmm. well, I said, aren't you tired? I'm tired. But mama and I have spent 62 Come consecutive Christmases well, together. Oh, well. And I wasn't going to break that streak. Yeah. Oh, Knowing all the people that have lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spent so much time bickering, arguing over stupid right. stuff. Right. Right. Nothing's more important than the relationships right. that God has allowed us He's allowed us to have. Amen. Fighting Amen. over stuff, fighting over property, fighting over money. Amen. Amen. Second, our uh, first Kings, first Kings chapter 18. Yeah. We're going to deal with probably the whole uh, chapter, but let's just read from verses 41 to 45. There, there we will find these words. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Mm. Well. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees, and said to his servants, Go up now and look toward the sea. Mm. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. Yeah. Yeah. And it came to pass at the seventh time yeah, yeah, yeah. that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. Yeah. And he said, Get thee down, and, or go up, say to Ahab, 
prepare thy chariot and get thee down that the rain stop thee not. Wow. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for a few moments on this last Sunday of 2020, God wanted me to proclaim this word, a Rima rain is coming. Right. Right. Rima, rain. I, I hear the sound of abundance rain. Yeah, We've lived yeah, yeah. in a drought condition most of 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has been recorded by meteorologists less than an inch of rain was recordable in our county. We've been going through a drought, but if you look at the sky today, I, I can hear a rumbling that a rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now. A rain is coming. Yeah. He says that I hear an abundance of rain. That means his ears has picked up a signal in the spiritual realms. His ears picked up a vibration, a vision of something that is going to come. I, I can't see it. I can't touch it. I don't feel it. But I know by my spirit that it is on its way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you know it's coming this way, preacher? Because uh, in my spirit, it's getting louder all the time, the closer our breakthrough comes, the louder the Spirit speaks yeah, to me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Uh, Elijah spoke those words in a place and a time where there had not been one drop of rain from the sky or dew on the ground in 31 or 31 years or, or I'm sorry, three and a half years. Yes, yes, sir. Had been no rain in the land of Elijah had just come from a great spiritual battle with Ahab's prophets. Uh, if you read the beginning of chapter 18, you, you'll recall that he had been challenged uh, by all these prophets of whose God is real. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Elijah was getting tired of the people. He asked the people at one point, so you are still fixed between two opinions. Yeah. If God be God, Right. Yeah, trying to yeah, talk to somebody yeah. who ain't been to yeah. church and about if God be God, yeah, yeah, yeah. let him be your God. And if Baal be your God, then right. keep on doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because some of us can testify yeah, that if it had not been for the Lord yeah. on our side, yeah. Yeah. where would we be today? Yeah. 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 It had been raining three and a half years. Three, three and a half years. And it, it meant that life and, and recovery and restorations, uh, uh, the, the, everything was running dry. Yeah. But he was letting the people know that I hear in the spirit realm that rain is coming. Mm. And that the rivers will run again. And fish will come again. And the crops will grow again. Uh, there will be joy where there have been sorrow. And there will be laughter where there have been weeping. I'm just trying to encourage somebody who's in mourning. I want to encourage somebody who may have lost their job. I want to encourage somebody who's lost their income. That God said that there's going to be a, a new beginning coming real soon. Yeah. Right? The year started off okay, but in the midst, by the time March rolled around here, the madness began. And, and people started losing tangible things in this world. And I'm here to tell you on this last Sunday that the God said that, that a ream of rain yeah. is coming to First Antioch. Yeah. Uh, God said something is coming. Uh, uh, he said for me to preach to you and tell you it's getting ready to rain. Uh, and it's going to rain in an abundant way at First Antioch. Yeah. Uh, that not, I did not mean anything to somebody here that's already content with their life. Wow. But somebody listening to me know that this means everything because I've been waiting for my breakthrough. I've been waiting for my body to get healed. I've been waiting to get my employment back. I've been waiting for my relationship to build. I've been waiting for my children to get right. Somebody's been waiting and God told me to tell you it's coming. It's on its way. It's on its way. It's on the way. Wish we had some neighbors we could tell them. You got a neighbor, tell your neighbor it's on its way. Let them know it's on its way. It's on its way. Let them know that the answer is on the way. The breakthrough is on its way. There's, there's, there's something powerful when in your spirit you know that God is on his way. Yeah. That it puts fire in your bones. and It puts fight back in your spirit. It gives us strength to hold on for a little while longer because we know that soon, sooner than soon, yeah. the same God that put wet in water and put yeah. saltiness in salt and put cold in snow, he's coming by because he told me to tell somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble don't last all night. It's going to rain in our 
Christ. Yes. Uh, yes. It's on its way. Yes. Yes. Rima, you, it's a Rima rain coming. Yeah. Tell it, tell it, twin today. Rima, don't want to confuse you. It's just a Greek word well, that we preachers like to use hey, hey. because it's, it means an inspired word. Yeah. It means an inspired yeah. utterance. Yeah. It means a spiritual thing that was said. Uh, I know I'm in good company because I read, uh, I got my, my, my scholars here, uh, I got some college students here to let them know that Plato and Aristotle used this word rima when they wanted to make a proclamation, meaning something important needs to be said. And today something important needs to be said uh, yeah. because I got word. Uh, from a member that he's had some trouble, uh, that uh, there was a death in the family, uh, and it's holding him back from his worship. Uh, and I'm here to let everyone know that's mourning, everyone that knows that's hurting, that there's a that, that a rain is going to come, and the rain is important. Uh, catch this: uh, the rain is important because uh, biblically it means the rain is coming to wash away yeah, yeah. the clouds. Yeah. yeah. The rain, the rain, the, the clouds get heavy with rain, and the rain dissipates and washes away the clouds. Why might that be important, preacher? That's important because the clouds block our view yeah. with the sun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The sun has the only restoration power to change evil men and women into saints. Uh, yeah. The sun is God's sun, uh, and the clouds represent spiritual blockage uh, that the rain. Come on, the rain will wash away. Yeah. I, I don't know who I'm talking to, but but I hope that you pray. I hope that, that you're asking God to do something new in your life. Yes. I'm, I'm talking to those that prayed. I'm talking to those that may have fasted, those that cried and confessed that I, I got a word from the Lord and, and from every natural evidence. Father God, I've been praying and nothing has changed. And the truth be known, I know some folks will say, I've been praying, Pastor, this year, but it seems like everything has gotten worse. Mm. But I came to tell you, First Samuel, yeah. that there is change yeah. in the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. The rain is coming. Yeah, yeah. Restoration yeah, yeah. is coming. Right. Healing is coming. Mm -hmm. Peace is coming. Yes. Joy, everlasting joy. Yeah. Unspeakable joy yeah. is coming. I can hear the sound of an abundance, ring of rain. I don't see any evidence. I don't see any signs, but I can hear it in my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign coming faith, yeah. coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. There, there's a sound. The word sound does, just, does not mean a noise or a racket. Sound means a proclamation. It's a decree in our spirit realm. Uh, and you got to pick this up in your spirit. Uh, if, you, if you ain't connected to the Lord in spirit, this might go right past you. But, but if the Lord is your God, that's my God, that's our God. Uh, in your spirit, when you hear his word proclaimed, uh, you know that the Lord is true to his word. Uh, and that this victory that overcomes the world uh, is by our faith in God. Uh, somebody's faith is going through today uh, and it's going to go to another level because they heard the word of God. Uh, somebody that's been struggling uh, through the wilderness of just enough uh, and barely getting by uh, is about to go into the realm uh, of overflow. Uh, somebody's going to change addresses uh, in their spirit address today. Uh, some of the stuff that used to hinder you uh, yeah. used to pull you down uh, after this word today. Uh, they ain't gonna bother telling nobody. I got problems. They're gonna be shouting. I got a blessing. And what did you get for Christmas? I got a blessing. And what did the blessing look like? I woke up in my right mind. I woke up talking to my children. I woke up looking at my mother. I woke up knowing that God. That God is real. Yes, he is. He's gonna change. I hear the sound of rain. What is the rain? What is the rain to you? Hmm. It's personal now. Yes. The yeah, rain yeah. for us is God's power invested in our lives. Mm. In whatever area or areas that are in a drought, that we have a locking that's broken or empty, God's rain is going to fill it up. The rain of God is going to take in every plan, every plot, every scheme, every weapon the devil has launched at us in 2020 and turn it around for our good. Yeah. Uh, the simplest definition I'm just saying is that prayer changes yes, things. Yes, 
that was the rain was on its way, but there was there was work to be done, and that Ahab went to play, and Elijah went to pray. Yeah. For every miracle, every breakthrough, every prodigal who comes home, every son or daughter who's delivered from drugs and perversion, somebody had to pray. Yeah, yeah. For every miracle, somebody had to bend down on their knees and ask God to come through. Yes, Elijah got himself in the birth position. He says in the Bible, he had his head between his knees and he began to labor in prayer for what he heard yeah, yeah. in his spirit. He sent his servant to go out yonder and toward the sea for an answer. Yeah. And the sea here represents the word of God. You have to get your eyes on the prize, which is the word of God. Yeah. His servant, the Bible says, returned and said, I'm looking, but I don't see any evidence of your prayer request. Yeah, but Elijah yeah. just keeps on praying. He sends his servant back to the sea. And while the servant is running, Elijah keeps on praying. Yeah. I'm just here to encourage somebody whose spirit is down. You just need to keep on praying yeah. because you might be one prayer away from your breakthrough. Yes, you just keep on praying. Yeah. And when you get a word from God in your spirit, you keep on praying. Yes, Listen, Daniel prayed for 21 days with no evidence whatsoever that God had heard him. But on the 22nd day, the breakthrough came because it says in the Bible that Michael, the warring angel, broke into the battle and Gabriel got a message through and they won the battle. God will do whatever it takes yes, uh, for us to win our battles yeah. if we don't quit. Uh, remember, it's the Lord. Uh, as uh, Daniel was praying by the river, remember, uh, he led me beside the still waters. Uh, he restored my soul. Uh, family, keep on praying. Uh, keep on praising. Uh, keep on confessing. Uh, keep on tithing. Uh, keep on singing. Uh, keep on dancing. Uh, first Daniel, I can tell you, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year because yeah, yeah, yeah. a of rain is coming. Uh, yeah. It's been a long time coming. Uh, but don't let the devil see us sweat. Uh, I remember back in the day, uh, used to love when my daddy would put on the record player, Sam Cooke, uh, and Sam Cooke would sing, uh, A Change is Coming. Uh, he says it's been a long time coming, uh, but I know a change uh, is coming. Uh, I wish I had a witness here. shut down. Uh, God told me to tell somebody uh, that a ring of rain uh, is coming yeah. through. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, and Elijah kept sending his servant back. Uh, Go look by the sea. Uh, I'm looking for a sign. Uh, I'm looking for something to tell the, the rest of the people uh, yeah. that the word of God said uh, a ring of rain uh, yes. is coming. Yes. Yeah. Servant kept coming back. No sign. Yeah. But I want to encourage you today. Delay is not denial. That's right. Abraham was delayed for 25 years, wow. but he wasn't denied. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph was delayed 15 years, but he was not denied. That's right. That's right. Lazarus was delayed yeah. for four days in the grave, but he was yeah. not to time. Right. Every time we pray, we're putting pressure on the spirit realm and we're feeling our lives with the expectancy that the clouds are going to bring our blessing. Yes. We don't pray because we feel like it. We don't pray because there's nothing else to do. We don't pray like those other Christians do who don't believe God is real. We pray because in our spirit it pushes us to pray. Yes. Elijah. Elijah was still praying. Head between his knees. Yes. Prayer is serious, serious business. Yes, it and it yes. takes labor or hard work for serious prayer. Yes. The issues that we have here at First Idea don't need people with paper playing prayer. Yes. They don't need cartoon colored prayer. Yes. They need sincere prayer. Oh, yes. My heart is hurting, I need prayer. Yeah. My yeah. money is low, I need prayer. Yes, My children are acting out, I need yeah. prayer. Yes. Folks don't want to serve the Lord, I need prayer. Yes, that it says he put his head between his eyes. He ain't looking for no show. Huh. He's praying to the only God right. he knows. Yes, sir. Many Christians pray with such lukewarm 
uh, warmness and indifference and uncertainty. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't even recognize the answers in their prayer, and the prayer even came. Mm. Y'all remember what happened when Peter was in prison? Mm. They had a prayer meeting, and when their prayer was answered, he's knocking on the door. They don't even believe it's Peter. Mm. And so often in our own lives, when God answers our prayers, we miss it because we're so busy doing other stuff. Right now. I'm busy, Lord. And the Lord said, well, you too busy for me. Maybe I'm too busy for you. All right. He prayed. But the Bible says, uh, even after all the negative reports, and I said, tell somebody, regardless of how people tell you, you'll never be anything. That, you, that you're doing all this labor at first Antioch in vain. Mm -hmm. Keep on pushing. Yeah. Because the Bible says on the number of completion. Yeah. On the seventh time. Yeah, seventh time. Yeah. The servant comes back with a report. He says, Master, behold. Yes. There ariseth a little cloud out of the sea. Mm -hmm, that's right. In other words, there was a little word that came up to me. Mm. A word from the word. Yeah. A rima word, a specific word for a specific purpose for a specific time. Came to tell somebody here at First Sunday, all we need is a word. All right. And if you got the word, you can make it through your storms. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And if you got the word, you can dance in a fiery furnace. Yeah. And if you got the word, you can sleep like a baby in a den of life. Yeah. And if you got the word, you can beat the famine with a little meal and a little bit of oil. Yeah. If you got the word, you can walk on water. Yeah. Wish I had three people to touch up and tell them all. God in my name well, is the word of God. Yeah, 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 this yeah, yeah. word uh, that he brought back was so small. The Bible says it was like a man's hand. Mm. It didn't look like much. But when Elijah's faith mm -hmm. grabbed hold of that little word, uh, mm. uh, something about faith uh, that lets you see the greatness in little things. Yeah. Uh, faith can see a weapon of mass destruction uh, right. in the jawbone of an axe. So, uh, Faith can see a meal full of multitude uh, in a lad's lunch. Uh, faith can see an oil business uh, in a room full of empty jars. Uh, faith can see a king uh, in a simple smelly shirt boy. Uh, faith can see, it may not be many of us here, but if the Lord be present, uh, he said we're two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in the midst of uh, but I feel the spirit of the living God. I, I feel a ream of work. I feel a ream of rain. Yeah. A rain is coming. The serpent saw a small cloud. But Elijah saw a river filling rain. A brown soaking rain. That the drop busting rain. I don't care how big your problem may seem to you. I don't care situation. Uh, the promises of God come uh, in concentrated form. Yeah. And one little word from God uh, can set you free yeah. and we destroy a giant uh, forever yeah. in your life. Uh, yeah. Jesus says uh, all it takes uh, is faith uh, yes. the size of a mustard seed uh, and you can command mountains to jump into the yeah. sea and they will have to go. Uh, I have uh, had many mountains to climb. Uh, started to shake uh, from my muscle strain. Yeah, yeah, uh, the yeah. one push from the Lord yeah. uh, took me to the top. Uh, and I've been to the top. Uh, yeah. And God told me to tell somebody yeah. uh, the rain, the rain uh, is coming. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta have mountain moving faith. Yeah. Right. I feel a drought busting faith in the house of First Antioch. Yeah. But First Antioch, we gotta get our spirits ready for 2021. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear the sound of abundance rain yeah. for yeah. First Antioch. Yeah. Blessings and healings and deliverance. Yeah. Uh, I feel something right now shifting uh, in the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else uh, got to feel it with me. Uh, so let me prophesy right now uh, that the drought uh, at First Antioch uh, is about to break free uh, because the rain is on its way. Uh, somebody listening on Facebook Live right now, uh, that drought uh, in your finances is about to break. Uh, that long dry spell with your family issues uh, is about to break. Uh, that issue with your sickness uh, is about to break. Uh, how do you know? Because I have faith. Uh, that God's promises will come true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody has been going through a long, dry place with their family. Yeah, yeah. And it seems 
Like you guys can't get it together. It just gets worse and worse. You try to love them, you try to embrace them, but they just keep pushing you away and running from you hard. It's time for that drought to break. It's time for the rain to fall in your family. Yes. For your loved ones, for your children, even your grandchildren are going to get wet in this rain. Right. Zechariah said, Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of latter rain, so that the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain. Mm -hmm. Family, it's time for the rain. The anointing is here. The rain is beginning to fall. Mm -hmm. Yokes are being destroyed. Burdens are being lifted. Joy is being restored. Yes. Peace is coming back. Yeah, yeah. Elijah got off his knees and he told Ahab, it's here. The rain is here. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get your chariot rolling off of this mountain, you're going to get stuck. Yes. And I'm here to tell somebody, if you don't get your prayer life together soon, All right now. you're going to get stuck uh -huh. when the rain starts falling abundantly at First Antioch. You're going to feel out of place because you've been stuck somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you need to get back home and get back in your proper position of praise. All right. Elijah was prophesying and the wind began to blow. Yeah. And the clouds turned black. Mm -hmm. And the rain came. Elijah heard it in his spirit. Yeah. He prophesied it with his mouth. Then he saw it with his eyes. Yes. So I want to prophesy to everybody that can hear me. Yeah, yeah. The rain is coming. Yeah. And what you heard God say in your own spirit is about to become manifest in your life. You've been confessing it and believing it. And a lot of people thought you were crazy for still coming to church. But let them know I'm getting ready for my breakthrough. Because the word of God says that the drunk is over and the rain is here. Yes. All the madness of 2020 is about to be washed away in a storm of praise. Uh, we came here to lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, wish I had a few folks in here uh, that knew how to enjoy the rain, uh, how to dance in the rain. Uh, we used to play in the rain. Uh, can we praise in the rain? Uh, can we praise in the rain? Uh, can we give God some praise? Uh, that the rain is coming. Uh, what I used to sing. Uh, there's a joy in the rain, Lord. Uh, healing in the rain, Lord. Uh, then it says uh, there's dancing in the rain, Lord. Uh, there's freedom in the rain, Lord. Uh, somebody here today, uh, lead to lift your hands up uh, and praise God from the rain. Uh, 2020 uh, is a few days from being over. Uh, we made it uh, thus far by grace. Uh, the battle is already won. Uh, in fact, you can shout right now. Uh, we battle not against flesh and blood but right. spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, God has visited uh, those high places uh, and the wicked one is about to have to leave the house. Uh, he may not want to go. He may not go on his own wheel. Uh, but God says uh, 2021, uh, the evil one must go. Uh, the evil in our lives for 2020 must go. Uh, the sickness of 2020 must go. Uh, the faithlessness of 2020 must go. Uh,
is not what the meteorologist said. Watch out, I got a storm, a great storm is coming. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, a great spiritual storm is on its way. Some stuff that was locked away from us this year. If we have been faithful to God, he's going to loosen it next year. <laughs> My faith tells me <laughs> we're going to have our best crop next year <laughs> because we've been faithful this year. Yeah. You reap what you sow. Yeah. I sow praise uh, uh, even when I was tired. Uh, I sow praise uh, even when I was sick. Yeah. I sow praise uh, even when I was broke. Uh, and now the rain is coming. Uh, I doubled all dare you uh, to start praising God right now.